get a free copy of Athium software using the link provided in this video description. When you sign up for an Athium Designer free trial, you will get an Athium 365 and 25% off discount. Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we will learn how to make a PCB in Athium Designer. The circuit that we want to build is a battery level indicator. So we will start from schematic to a PCB and finally we will get a 3D view like this. So let's get started. First, we will create a new project. So we will go to File, New, Project. Then we will change the name to Battery Level Indicator. Then we will select the folder. Then hit create. After that we will create a schematic and PCB files. So right click to the name of the project. Then we will add a schematic. Then PCB. After that we will save the two files at the same file location. Then we will start from the schematic sheet. This is the circuit that we want to build. So we need to download the IC library. Now we will go to Snap EDA website and search Then we will download the simple and footprint. We will select Altium. Then we will download the 3D model. Now we want to install the library, so we will go to the library, double click, then extract. Then we will open the schematic and the PCB. Now we want to add the footprint to the schematic, so we will go to browse, then OK. OK. Now we want to add the 3D body to the footprint, so we will go to place. 3D body, then select the 3D model, then open. Now we want to drag it here, then we will go to view, 3D layout mode. Now we want to flip the chip to align the footprint pads. So we will go to properties, then we will flip the board then we will drag it here ctrl f to flip the board now we want to increase the height and that's it after that, we want to add a PCB library and schematic library to the project. So right click to the project name, then add schematic library, then add PCB library. Now take the PCB and drag it to the PCB library and schematic to the schematic library. Then delete that. Now we will start with the schematic circuit. 
this is the circuit that we want to build if you want to know any information about any component in this circuit or any circuit you want you have to go to octopart website and search about the component you need and read the data sheet of that component Now we want to get all the component to the workspace. So from component, If you notice there is an error because there is a many component have the same name. So to solve that error we have to go to tools, annotation, annotation schematics, then update the change, then ok, accept the change, validate, execute, then close. So the error is gone. So now we want to convert the schematic circuit to a PCB. So we will go to design, update PCB document, validate, execute, then close. Now we want to select all the component and drag it to the workspace. Delete the room. And now we want to rearrange the component Now we want to change the board shape. So we will go to view, board blending mode, then we will go to design, edit board shape. Then we will change the board to fit all the component. Now we want to draw the cover tracks between the component. So we will go to route, auto route, then all. Now we will select route all and close. After that we want to add a polygon to the circuit. So we will go to tools, polygon boards, polygon manager, then we will select board outline. Then we will connect the polygon to the ground, 
then we will select the bottom layer and we want to remove the dead cover and we will select bore over all same net object then apply okay so this is the final shape we got hopefully this video will be useful for you and thank you for listening This video is brought to you by Antium 365, where the world designs electronics, and Octopar, the fastest search engine for electronic parts.